Hello everyone, this is Thunder Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Marvel Legends uh, Thunderstrike figure. Um, and he's the last figure in the wave. So here's the front for you. Here's the side with the artwork there. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. Uh, and then here's all the figures in the wave to make Joe fix it. Uh, same artwork on the other side. You get the Marvel Legends, I mean Marvel logo uh, varnished on top. Not much on the bottom besides the DCPI for you. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Thunderstrike out of the packaging here. So he has a few accessories. So first he has uh, the Joe Fix-It head sculpt, which we'll go over that once we build them next video. Um, and then he has an extra hand here, uh, just a fisted hand for his right, no, his, his left hand. Uh, but yeah, you get a bunch of veins going on through his hand there. You get that line where I think they kind of like glued it together but it's not going to bother me a whole bunch right there um and then he has his hammer here so it's pretty dark gray uh it looks worn you get that little t in there on the top with the circle there um and you get that grip which i like too you get the chained uh wrist uh thing for like i guess keeping a hold of it and yeah it's pretty good um but besides that that's all he's got for accessories so here's thunderstrike up close so you get that streaming face there um you get he has blonde hair so they did a good job on that i wish they had like a little bit of a wash so he gives it more depth but that's okay you get that ponytail with the blue hair tie back there uh they did a good job on the head sculpt actually uh, I think the eyes are a little cockeyed a little bit this one's kind of pointing out that way whereas this one's kind of like pointing on straight on his right eye but yeah and then you have this little vest here which I like a lot it's pretty soft plastic uh actually really soft so you get that nice stitching going on there you get the buttons uh you get the pockets and stuff like that you get the belt here silver buckled there and get zippers too which I that's a really cool addition there um and then yeah, more there you get the butt uh you get the yellow belt here with the t symbol there you get all these like little circles here like thor does except he has like two only four of them whereas thor has like six of them and then you get just black pants i meant not black pants dark blue pants on the legs here and the thighs and then you get this big bulky boot here which has a bunch of padding and stuff like that he goes all the way up to the knees um and then you get some more padding on the foot there. And it kind of gives it that leather texture, kind of, which I like a lot. You get that little calf padding there. It's pretty cool. Um, but besides that, oh, yeah, yeah, so it has wristbands, too. I, yeah, these are separate pieces, so if you guys want to, you can take them apart, uh, take them off. And he does have a, a hammer holding hand, and he has this one hand that is kind of, like, clinched up or about to aim at him, I guess. So yeah, and you get all those veins going on through the arm there. And yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. Um, and then for holding the hammer, it's pretty easy. Just plug it in, like, uh, if I can. Uh, it's kind of difficult. There we go. It's kind of getting loose, and today was the first day it snowed. Um, so yeah. So there's that. Um, then let's go over his articulation here. So his head can move down that far up just a little bit because the collar kind of gets in the way and the ponytail too. You can go left and right, kind of. It's kind of tough with the vest there. Uh, now a whole bunch of head pivoting. His shoulders can move out pretty far, uh, a little past 90 degrees, I think. He has a bias. I mean, uh, his shoulders can rotate around 360 degrees. He has a bicep swivel there, double jointed elbows, so just a little past 90 degrees there. His wrist can hinge down just a little bit there, up pretty good, so that's good. And you get 360 rotation around there. Uh, he has a diaphragm joint instead of an app crunch, so you get him to go forward that much. Backwards just a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, you get him to go 360 around the top ball joint there. You get him to go side to side. So yeah, there's that, and he does not have a waist swivel, so you cannot get him to rotate around. Um, his legs could kick out 
that far. So not a whole lot, but it's okay. You can kick forward pretty far, so that's good. Backwards, just a very tiny bit. Uh, he does have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees, and I see that they're using the the pinless joint tech there. So that's cool. Are they doing the same with the elbows? Nope. Okay. Uh, no thigh cut. I mean, no shin cut, I mean. Um, his ankles can hinge. I don't want to break it. Uh, there we go. It can hinge down that far. It's kind of clicky. It's stiff too still. There we go. Up that far. And nice ankle pivot. So I think this guy is a really cool figure. Uh, he's a little stiff. I'm, I'm a little iffy on the knees there. Because it kind of looks like the knees are kind of skinny there. But it's not going to bother me a whole bunch. As long as it doesn't snap on me or something. Uh, and I was a little surprised with the little diaphragm joint there. I thought it was going to be ab crunch at first, but nope. They did a diaphragm joint, but it's not going to bother me a whole bunch because he doesn't get to go forward and back a whole lot, but he's going to be standing straight up anyways. He's a big dude. So, yeah, you all have good posture and stuff like that, obviously. Um, and, yeah, they did a good job on that sculpt and stuff throughout the figure. The head sculpt's pretty cool. Uh... The paint apps are good too. I wish they put a little bit of a darker blonde or something throughout the hair to give it more depth, but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch, like I said. Um, and he does come with like one extra hand, so it's not gonna bother me that it bother me either. Um, and yeah, it, I think they did a good job on this figure actually. So yeah, that's all we got.